Hey everyone and welcome back to another J the Morning Gamer video and we have a lot of information to go over in this video. Apologies for being a little late and apologies if my voice sounds a little groggy I've been trying to fight something but we finally got the full reveal for Super Robot Wars 30 the 30th anniversary title that was hinted at for a while now and we got the full roster reveal along with the release date some more information regarding us here in the west and we also got a look at the brand new protagonist and the antagonist as well along with their mechas. So without further ado let's jump right into what everyone I think is looking forward to and that is the series roster that is going to incorporate Incorporate for Super Robot Wars 30 and we have I think a pretty good roster in my personal opinion So the start off the list We're gonna talk about the seven series We already knew about from the reveal trailer at E3 and those are of course Combattler V, Mazinga Z Infinity, Zeta Gundam, Gal Giga Final But with that one, we're only getting the mecha units themselves. We're not getting the actual storyline Code Geass, the Lush of the Resurrection, Mobile Suit Gundam, Shars Counterattack, and Getter Robo Armageddon And that was who we saw in the original now We're gonna move on to the rest of the series that show up and I'm gonna apologize in advance if I mispronounce some of these guys Please let me know in the comments if I am but then we go into the original mobile suit Gundam we're only gonna get mech just like with Gal Giga final then we're gonna get heavy metal L guy I apologize if I mispronounce that then magical knight rare Gundam X sword Gundam narrative victory Gundam and the final returning series that shows up in the trailer is one that I was looking forward to and was hotly anticipating would make it into super Robot wars 30th and that is of course majestic prince which honestly I am super happy that it's finally making it into a main series super Robot war games I'm super hyped about this also a little comment if anyone knows where I could possibly read any of the majestic print manga in english could you let me know i really want to read the manga and see how it ends that does it for all the returning series that showed up in the trailer but there are still three other series that are going to make it into the game that didn't show up into the trailer but each one of these are only going to have their mechs they're not going to have the storyline first one is going to be ko Geass, the third glorification which is the third film the ko Geass movie trilogy we also got both missing mobile suit variations for both the original gundam and zeta gundam and with that we have all the returning series that are going to make up the core of super robot wars 30th but i know what you guys are really excited for and those are the newcomers that are going to show up in Super Robot Wars 30. And I think you guys are going to be very excited because there are a couple in there that I'm not going to lie. I really got excited for and I'm really happy that they finally get their debut in Super Robot Wars 30. And to kick off the new series that make their debut in Super Robot Wars 30, we're going to take a look at first Knights and Magic, a mecha isekai anime that aired in 2017. And honestly, when I first looked at this, I was thinking of something like Vanguard Bandits, a very old PlayStation 1 RPG, if you guys know what that I'm talking about. That's the kind of vibe I got with Knights and Magic. And honestly, I think the Ikaruga look fucking amazing and Aaron looks cool as well. I can't wait to see these guys in action and that they actually made it into Super Robot Wars. And then the next new entry we make it into is I don't think it's an anime or a manga itself. I think it's actually a toy line and it's Mazin Kaiser Infinitism. And I apologize if I misspelled Infinitism or mispronounced it as well. Honestly, when I saw this, I was like, fuck yeah. I got no problem with Mazinga Z Infinity, but I really wasn't a big fan of him in Super Robot Wars T. For some reason, I felt like he was a grade down from obviously, you know, Mazinga Z and Mazinga Zero, Mazinga Kaiser, and I was like, I don't know, I kind of want a little more, and then lo and behold, we get Mazing Kaiser, and he looks fucking epic. I can't wait to see more of this guy in the game as well. Then we move on to Brave Police Jay Decker, and I believe he's created by the same company that made Gal Gaga and also Mike Gein, two characters that I really enjoy, and honestly, I'm a little lackluster with this guy just because of how he looks, and I feel like he doesn't have the same power as, you know, Gal Gaga or Mike Gein, but then again, they didn't really show off what I think his final form will be because I'm always led to believe that these guys have of course a true combination form but I know a lot of people were really looking forward to this guy making it in along with Mike Gein as well so I'm happy that the series can finally make it into Super Robot Wars for those fans as well and then we move on to a guy that I'm not gonna lie I kind of binge watched his entire season a couple years after the fact it happened but we're talking about SSSS Gridman and holy hell I am so hyped for this guy like I said I binge watched his series and I also binge watched his sequel series SSSS Dio on, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Again, I apologize immensely on the pronunciation. I kept thinking to myself, why the hell haven't either of these made it into a Super Robot War game already? Because both of them literally are perfectly designed to fit into a Super Robot War aesthetic. So I'm just really happy that Gridman is making it into the game. And again, I apologize if I put too many S's in there. Please let me know if I screwed that up as well. And then the last newcomer we'll get to make it into Super Robot Wars 30 is Gal Gaga vs. Better Man. Now this is based off a novelization series that takes place after Gal Gaga Final. I don't know a lot about the Better Man series. I didn't even know it technically kind of existed in the Gal Gaga franchise, but I also know they're owned by the same studio as well. That's interesting. And we also know at the end of Gal Gaga Final, that guy, spoilers, disappears, and Mamaru apparently takes up the mantle of leading the group and piloting Gal Gaga in his absence. And speaking of his Gal Gaga, it looks very interesting because it looks like the fusion of Gal Gaga along with whatever the mech is for Better Man. So I'm very curious to see how that's going to work. And I want to see how they're going to explain Guy coming back because, again, in Gal Gaga Final, we're only getting the mech version 
versions, but I believe what we're getting the story of Gal Gaga final versus Better Man, which I'm really looking forward to. And honestly, I just can't help it. I'm getting real hyped for this, but that's all the new series that are making into Super Robot Wars. I think each one of them is a great addition to this long running franchise. But with all the newcomers out of the way, we can finally move on to talk about the OG characters, both the protagonists and the antagonists and their mechas, which I have some interesting uh, feelings about some of them. So I just want to clarify from what I said a couple seconds ago. I don't have a problem with any of the designs. I actually like both of the characters. I have a slight issue with the main mech so far, but I'll get into that real soon. But first, let's talk about the main characters. You get to choose between a male and female, obviously. And what's interesting is both characters seem to have the same surname. I wonder how that's going to work out in the game if they're like related somehow, like brother or sister or whatever. First, the male protagonist is called Edge St. Clair's, and I apologize if I butchered that name immensely, but he's apparently a very rogue type character. He has amnesia, I believe, and he doesn't really know a lot of stuff, but he's really good at piloting the main mech. Then we move on to the female main lead as St. Clair's. I believe she's not the same as Edge. I think she has some memories, but she's also on the run from certain people that are after her, and she's also really good at piloting the main mech. Both designs I really like, but now we move away from the main characters, and now we're going to take a look at the main mech, and that's the one that I have kind of mixed feelings on, in my personal opinion. So the main mech for this game is the Hawkbind 30, and honestly, I kind of like everything about it until you get to the face region, where where the eyes are supposed to be, it seems like it's covered by like what seems to be a triple X grill visor, and I just really don't like it. I'm sorry. I mean, if someone else likes it, I'm not saying the mech is trash. I really do like Hawkbinds, but to me personally, I'm like, I can't take you seriously. I love everything up until that point, and that, that's just me. That's 100% a personal problem. I think the mech looks great in motion, but just the fact that it has that weird like grill visor with the triple X's on it, just, I don't know, something about that I just doesn't mesh well with me. <laughs> but to go back to the main characters real quick, uh, they are actually going to have their own theme songs with vocals and everything, so I think that's a first for the franchise, and I'm really curious and interested, and I can't wait to hear the songs, and I wonder if we're going to get a full version song, like maybe like three minutes, or if it's just going to be on a loop. I don't know. Either way, I find that very interesting. Now we move on to the main antagonist, and this is a guy who's also trying to butcher my tongue right now, so I apologize immensely again if I butcher up this pronunciation, but the main enemy is called Carlyon Vol, and he looks very interesting, the fact that he's got the monocorns, and he's also piloting his own original mech called the Graveline or the Garvalin. It looks very interesting, very intimidating, and he has some weird connection with the main characters. I don't know if he's the true main antagonist or if he's just the antagonist for both of them, but either way, those are our original characters going forward, and honestly, I'm loving what I'm seeing about the game. And they also went into detail about some of the new mechanics they're going to be implementing in 30. So something new they're doing in Super Robot Wars is they're actually not making it as linear as they did before with the previous tiles. Instead, they're opting to be a little more freeform with the tactical area selection, which essentially lets you choose certain areas in the game that give you access to different parts of the story and mechs earlier than what you would if you had just gone down a regular linear route that we've been going through for most Super Robot War games, which I find very interesting. They've also talked about how there's going to be side missions as well. So if you want to just run through the main story, you can. But if you also want to do the side missions, you can do that as well. And they also talked about how there's going to be certain missions that are there solely for grinding experience points, money. And with that, they've also implemented something else first in the series, and that's full auto battle, which essentially you get to set what your mechs are going to do. And basically, like it says, it'll be an auto battle for you. You can walk away, do whatever you want. You can sit down, work on other stuff as the game's playing itself. They say that's primarily going to be used for like grinding sessions for those extra maps. I find that interesting. And I'm kind of curious about how this whole new free form storytelling is going to go. If you can pick certain areas that have certain mechs and story elements and how that's going to work, depending on if like you have X character in your party or not X character in party. But I could also see how that could add a lot more replay value and longevity to the title. If they're willing to be a lot more free form. So you could have like different ways to get characters earlier or later. Again, I find that very interesting. I'm just curious to see how it's going to work. It doesn't detract my hype from the game. It's just, like I said, something I'm not used to, but I will give Super Robot Wars 30 this. I'm willing to hold all judgment until I actually get the game myself. So that's all the new system mechanics they talked about. But what's really nice about all this is for us in the West, and I think this is the first time ever, both in America and in Europe, Super Robot Wars 30 is actually available in both regions on Steam only for pre-order in our native language. So that means you'll actually be able to use like the US, uh, Steam store or the European Steam store to actually buy these games. Now they're not extending that I believe to the console releases you're still gonna have to import them but I think that is a great step forward for the franchise itself coming westward for all of us westward fans. I suggest if you guys have a PC and are able to play it I would highly recommend buying the game that way to show Bandai Namco that yes we western fans really do love this franchise and want to see more of them come westward even if it's only a PC release and that's pretty much gonna do it guys for all the information we've collected pretty much throughout the week since the game
game has been fully revealed with the roster, the release date, characters, and obviously with the good news of the Western release of the games on Steam. I'm really hyped for this game, and we also know the release date. It's coming out October 28th for both Japan, Asia, and the Western Steam store, so we won't have that long to wait, but it's going to feel like an eternity only because I can't wait to play this game for the celebration that is the Super Mario Wars franchise for its 30th year incarnate, and honestly, it's doing some new things that I think might pay off or might not, but that's something we have to wait and see, and honestly, I'm just really happy with the franchises they picked to show up in this game. I think they are a great representation of the franchise itself. We got a bunch of guys from like, you know, the 80s, the 90s to the early aughts, and honestly, I think there's mecha there for everyone, for the old, for the young. You know, I feel like this is just a great celebration of the franchise, and I'm just glad that we all get to experience this. I'm gushing a little, but I really do love this franchise. I remember I started playing this back on the OG when it came over on the GBA. Fell in love with it. I didn't even know what these were, and then as I got older and I learned more about what Super Robot Wars really was, I really dove into the franchise, and I was like, man, I wish we could get a, you know, mainline title over here in the West somehow, and, you know, Ben and Namco was more than happy to do that with Super Robot Wars V, which I loved immensely, and I've been playing every Super Robot Wars game that they've released since, because us in the West, we have a long way to catch up to our brethren over in Japan who've been playing this for 30 plus years, but you know what? Here's hoping to another 30 great years with this franchise, and the fact that they also did win a Guinness World Book record of having the most IPs in a single long-running, uh, I think it was a turn-based RPG, which I think is just amazing. I think it was up, like, over 200, like, individual IPs in a given franchise. I think that just speaks to how great Mecha is as a genre. I I'm gushing at this point, and I apologize, guys, if this sounds weird and a little runny, but I just want you to know how much I love this franchise, how great I am that it is coming over to the West, and that we get to celebrate this with everyone in the world. But that's gonna do it for me, guys. I wanna thank you very much for watching the video if you're still here. I want you all to have a great day. I want you all to be really hyped for this game. And remember, let's rock, everyone.